Welcome back to What Are Team Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a team clash, yes. You're looking at a T-57 heavy tank, the tier 10 American autoloader, and it's being commanded by Captain Ashtorm and he's fighting for Des Gamers against skill L4LTU. Now, um, I'm actually on Des Gamers team, so uh, I have a vested interest in this battle as well. Um, so hopefully Captain Ashdorn will do rather nicely. Okay, battle started. Now, as I said, this is the autoloader. Four shots in the magazine. It's got a 120mm gun. Each shot is capable of 400 alpha, penetrating 258mm of armor with standard ammo, and that goes up to 340 with the heat rounds. So it's able, it's able, capable on book, on paper, of doing 1600 damage in very very short time indeed in just eight seconds well, in fact actually less than eight seconds about six seconds um, so it's a very effective little auto loading tank is he gonna fire at that AMX nope I think he was just moving too quickly and Captain Ashton rightfully judged that the best thing to do would be actually to hold on to his ammo and make the best use of it Well, Team Clash, 7 versus 7, it's actually been quite a successful event. I think a lot of people have said, yeah, they were surprised at how good it actually was. Um, the battles are quite fun, plus of course you can earn yourselves more free-to-play uh, tanks if you don't have any Tier 10s. If you do have a Tier 10, and this is one of the ones that you actually have to earn, the T-57 Heavy Tank, then it can be huge fun because some of these tanks are very, very effective. Well, the enemy's capping and Captain Ashstorm's decided to go up high. Oh, his first target's a Nudez 15-16. Goes for the Wizzy. Yeah, gets a nice impact on that high roll. Fires the second one in, takes him out with an ammo rack. That's a big hit. Took a round in the tracks though from the Nudez. He's aimed towards the Udis, he's still got one shot, he fires it in, but takes another round in the tracks. Pulls back after fixing his tracks. So his repair kit's now going to be on cooldown. It's normally about 25 seconds for the reload, but Captain Ashdorm's played this tank so much, he's got his reload time down to 21.98. He's been spotted by that object 140, and he took a round, unfortunately, but now he's un going to unload into that 140 who's now going to have a very unfortunate game because, yep, those shells hit the target. The last one, though, didn't actually penetrate. It just critical hit him. So, unfortunately, Captain Ashstorm's team are now down to just three players, including him. And they've still got two capping. So, he's going to take out this Progetto, I think. No, bounce the first one. Gets the second one in. Next one should be kill shot. Yep, got him. Now there's a bat chat down here. He could probably ram kill him. Oh, he goes down anyway. He's only got one shot left in the mag. He ought to, he's popped the reload. Good, good job there. He's got a super conqueror for company. And there is still another player on his team in a Progetto 65. And that Progetto is one of the rented ones that somebody's earned for playing in the battles. The enemy team's only got two left now. Only one capping. It's the Wizzy 111. Captain National takes a round in the side from the object 140. But he's going straight in because he's going to deal with this Wizzy 111 Model 5A. Puts two in. Three in. This will be the kill shot. And he takes him out. So now he's in full reload, but... There's three left against one enemy, and he doesn't need to cap, he just needs to protect himself whilst he reloads. Then he can go after that object 140. So, three kills to Captain Ashstorm so far. This is going to be it to win the game. And he wins the game in style on fire. <laughs> and he blows up. So the object 140 got him right at the end. But what a way to win the game. On fire. 
takes out the last enemy tank. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it was a victory for Des Gamers against the uh, uh, skill for LTU. And we can see that there's no medals for Captain Ashton, but he did get a win eight of 7,422 because he killed four of the enemy team, the majority of them. Um, yep, there you go. 5,886 hit points of damage in that game. The next high score was Udis 1516 on the enemy team with 4043. And uh, when it came to kills, yes, it's definitely Captain National. We got four kills. Only uh, the Super Conqueror managed to get two on his team, and the Progetto on the enemy team managed to get two. And when it came to base XP, yes, he's way ahead of the others. 1039 base experience points, 968 to the Super Conqueror, 802 to the Progetto 65. And uh, yes, that consolation prize for the object 140 was that he did kill Captain Ashton right at the end of the game, one shot into his fuel tank. Well played by him to aim for the engine deck, but of course he did get wiped out immediately afterwards um, himself uh, after he fired. 16 shots fired, 14 direct hits, 12 penetrations, damage of 5,886 hit points, of which 3,430 broke more than 300 meters. So he did do a fair amount of shooting at long range. Eight hits received, five penetrations, three non-penetrations, and 1,200 hit points of damage blocked by armor. He damaged four enemy vehicles, killed four enemy vehicles, and got 82 defense points when he went into the cap to reset it. On a premium count, he earned 73,340 credits, and even after firing all that ammo, he still came out with a profit of 9,318 credits. He earned 1,558 XP, and there was no multiplier, so that's all the experience points he took away. But he definitely carried Dez's team to a win there, so congratulations to Captain Ashstorm. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.